morning all. Welcome to a rack the tube. It's finally time, and this is the day. So um, this has been circulating and growing and developing with the isopods and the um, springtails, and is fully bioactive. And I'm starting to be happy with it. There's a few plants that didn't really take off too well, but for but I've just noticed they're starting to come back as if they like were shocked when they first went in, died back, and now they're starting to just come again. So I'm off. Um, I want first of all, sorry, I stopped there. First of all, I really want to thank um, Guy from um, GiantSpiders.com, Bugs and Stuff and um, the uh, Director of Photography for LoveTarantulas.com for sorting me out with uh, the little froggos to go into this bad boy. I owe you, man. Um, so yeah, I'm about to drive for hours and hours and hours. I'm going to collect them because it's winter and uh, they need, they're fragile, you know. <laughs> so I'm a fan of big bromeliads this one's doing really well I like this one this is the uh, tigrina I think it's stripey that's banging um, the one just f further on right um, decided to grow a pup and push itself out of its hole so that one there you see the pup growing out of the side of it and that's just pushed it out of its uh, of its rooted hole. There's a nice pink brom in the back and the top. And then a red star to the right of it. Let's go through. We've got some magravia growing on the back. Um, there's, in the back here, just starting to have the um, ficus, the Panama ficus, growing there. Uh, well, here you'll see some ficus pomelio, but the variegated ones, that's pretty cool. There's a, a, a tiny calanthia in the back there that'll grow. We've got some uh, phytonia red there. And you can see that the, um, here's a tip for you. If you've got isopods in, a, in an enclosure, they love phytonia. So you can see there's uh, one coconut hide there. Uh, there's another coconut hide like there and then there's a third coconut hide in the back 